Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a beauty salon or barbering website using Wix. I'll be showing you how to create a website that you can call it booking and you can also display your other services. The beautiful thing about using Wix website builder is it is beginner friendly, easy to use as you will realize while watching this tutorial and you can also get started for completely free. So go on to Wix.com and you are going to tap on sign up and you are going to create an account using your email address. Once you have created your account, I want you to tap on create new site. After selecting create new site, you are going to tap on create on Wix editor. From there, you'll be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting Setup Without AI, depending if you are creating a beauty salon or barber website, you can type it in right here. So for example, if it is a beauty salon, you can type it in real quick. Then you are going to tap on Next. After selecting Next, you can see that Wix editor is preparing our dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I'll be showing you how to add your business name, opening and closing hours and also how to add the different booking services that you will be offering. So I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option right here. But first let's enter our business name. So I'll name it test salon. Then from here you could enter your business address. After entering your business address, you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Then you can select how many days of the week your business will be open for. So let's say for example from Monday to Friday and we will be opening shop from 9 a.m. and we'll be closing let's say 6 p.m. Then we'll tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. And these are some sample services that the Wix platform assumes that beauty salons offer. So you can see right there, if any one of these services relate to the services that you plan on offering your clients, you can simply tap on the box to tick it. So we can do that right there. And then you can also tap on create new services at the bottom of the page and you can add different services that you would like to offer. So let's say for example, I'll just type in your styles just for random sake. Then you will tap on save and then you will go on to next. Then from here you can start adding your staff members name and email address. Then you will tap on next once more and will you be accepting payments online? If so, you can select that and also will you be accepting payments in person? We'll tap on yes. And do you want to send automated emails and SMS reminders to your clients? So for example, when someone books an appointment, would you like to send a reminder right before the appointment time? You can select this option if you want. Then you'll tap on next and you are going to tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I'll be showing you how to edit the services. So for example, how to set a price for your service and also how to set the duration. To do this, you'll need to go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see booking services, you are going to tap on that. After selecting booking services, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And on this dashboard, if you would like to add a new service, you can tap on add a new service in the top right hand corner. But for now, we'll scroll down and we are going to be editing the price of the services that we have added. So you can tap on edit right in line with the different services. After you have selected edit, if you would like to change the image, you can simply remove and upload a new image. You can also change the service name. You can add a short description. And by scrolling down, you can select the duration. So let's say for example, it takes 30 minutes to do an eyebrow shaping. Then you can also set the price. So let's say we'll be charging $100. Then from there, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. 
and you can continue editing the services the different services that you would like to offer so all you'll need to do is tap on save once you have created a new service as you want to make sure that your changes are saved then to close this pop-up we'll simply go over to the top left hand corner and tap on the x and if you want to view the different services once your website has gone live all you'll need to do is hover over booking calendar then select calendar and you'll be able to see the different booking deals and by scrolling down you are going to select billing and payments and you are going to tap on payments and from this section we'll be able to set up the different payment methods that we like to offer our clients so you are going to tap on manage payment methods then depending on the country you are located in you will see different options for example i have tilopay and paypal so I could tap on connect and then from there I can connect these two platforms to my website. If it is a case that you would like to offer more options, you can simply tap on change and you can change the country of the website. Then for example, if I were to type in United States and select United States right there, then tap on choose. You will realize that I now have more payment options that I can offer as I have the Wix payment method so all I would need to do is tap on connect and create an account and I would now be able to accept Apple Pay, Google Pay and so much more and by the way by scrolling down you can tap on see more payment option and you can see even more payment options right here that you can connect the next thing you're going to do once you're finished doing this you're going to go back over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on set up once you have selected setup and you're back on your main dashboard you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner and I want you to tap on pick a template after selecting pick a template you can see some themes that you can use and this is one of the standout features when it comes on to Wix website builder as with these themes you'll be able to create a professional looking website in no time so let's say for example I would like to use this one all I would need to do is tap on edit then give it a few seconds while the AI composes our website in the once on this page you could tap in the box right here and provide some information that you would like to be added to your website and then tap on generate text but for now we'll simply close out of that and then you're going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner and at the moment this is how your website looks so you can see it right here and it does look stunning as you can see right there and now to edit any section so let's say for example you would like to change the image right here you can simply hover over the section tap on quick edit after selecting quick edit you're going to see a pop-up window on the right hand column and from there you can edit the text you can change the image if you want and it is as simple as that to edit any section on your website all you have to do is simply hover over the section for example even the social bar right here you can tap on that and you could tap on set social links and from there you'll be able to connect your Facebook Instagram or any social media platform that you're using you could be, you will be able to add the business page right there you can also change the name at the top by simply tapping on quick edit and from there you'll be able to edit the header section as you can see right there it is as simple as that to edit a website using Wix and by the way if it is a case that you would like to add text or image to a section that you don't see any all you'll need to do is tap on add elements in the top left hand corner then from there you can add text you can add images you can add buttons anything at all that you would like to add to your website you can go over to the top left hand corner tap on the plus that says add elements and you will be able to find it and add it also to view the different pages on your website you are going to tap on home in the top left hand corner then if we were to for example go onto the service page 
you can tap service page right there and once you have selected service page you can see it right here a summary of the different services that we offer by scrolling down so this is how it would look you can see the staff members name and so on cancer policy and you will see our services right there and you can view all pages by tapping there from there you can also see the booking calendar the booking form and so on and as i was saying earlier by using wix you don't have to worry to excuse me you don't have to worry about being a professional as you can see it adds all the necessary pages that if you were to go onto a professionally built beauty salon website you would see them as you can see right here and once you're finished all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner then from there you'll tap on publish for it to go live hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if we were to tap on preview this is how it would look and once our clients tap on book now they would be redirected to the service page so you can see right here eyebrow shaping and then they can choose the date and can also choose the time and then tap on next and they would enter their payment information and so on hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did or if you have any questions that you would like to ask please let me know in the comment section